and welcome to Blossom Sandwich Sews. My name is Yvette and today's vlog is going to be a little bit more of a chatty one. I've got a few fabrics to show you and a few tentative plans to talk to you about and yeah just a general bit of sewing catch up. So the first piece of news is that I hosted my first ever sewing social in Woking on Saturday. So I picked up a few fabrics from the swaps table. So I'm going to show you those. But yeah, the social went really well. I was quite nervous about it because I hadn't hosted one before and I just really wanted everyone to have a good time. But yeah, it was really good. And we had about 18 of us in total. I'll put in just some like little clips of what it was like there. Um, Mel helped me host it as well. So she made some really delicious cakes. Um, so yeah, it was a really good day. I did not get much sewing done. I was, I was really contemplating like what should I bring to work on um, like should I just bring in an easy project and just smash through it but then I was like no you have to focus bring your peony dresses I'm still working on these peony dresses guys they're getting there um, so the green one that I'm making for me to wear on the catwalk at the stitch festival was almost done but then I started panicking about my mum's one so I'm seeing her in a couple of weeks um, so I need to like try it on her then to make sure it fits because I don't want to put it on her for the first time like at the catwalk and then I, and then if it doesn't fit I, I mean if it doesn't fit now I don't know what I'm going <laughs> to do but hopefully it'll be okay I did do this well so yeah that they're basically the two peony dresses are at the same stage or similar stage now like I just need to put the sleeves in and do the bottom ruffle and then they're pretty much done so it's getting there it's just slow and I feel like because it's like a deadline and like a thing that I've committed to do I feel less motivated to work on it now I'm just like oh just feels like more of a chore I don't know if any of you guys feel like this but yeah I definitely feel like I wouldn't be cut out for doing like pattern testing or something like that because it would just probably just make me feel really like not motivated to sew but yeah I'm looking forward to getting those done I think the, the finish line's in sight with those peony dresses I'll put in pictures um of the plan but yeah the fabric's really nice it's not as bad to work with as I thought and what I've been doing is like all the bits that I definitely want to make sure they line up like um you know the seams on the center waist where the zip goes through and the darts that I want them to match up I've just um basted them on before sewing the whole seam so that I can make sure that that's really nice and neat so I think I'm going to be pleased with them when they're finished hopefully and yeah, in the meantime of doing my peony dresses, I decided to start the Dawson top. So that's my previous vlog, if you didn't watch that. Um, but yeah, it's just a quick t-shirt project. So I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do in terms of adjustments to improve the fit on that. But thanks so much to everyone who commented your advice for sewing with jersey on that previous video. That was really helpful. I think I'm definitely gonna have to look into some like Maraflex thread the stretchy thread to make that easier to do the hems and stuff the only thing i'm not sure about is i don't think you can get it in as many colors and i'm really picky about having a really good thread match but yeah we'll see how my next jersey project goes i'm not despite all your comments i'm not quite convinced that i'm ever going to love sewing with jersey or at least not love it as much as wovens i just feel like you can never get the finish like quite as good as as ready to wear just because like the different machines and stuff but yeah I'm not investing in a cover cover lock machine and all that um but yeah I think I'll I think I'll dabble in jersey I'll keep it at that probably so anyway back to the social we had a swaps table at the social and I picked up three things I wasn't planning to pick up anything and I actually I didn't bring anything myself so it feels a bit bad but um yeah everyone was uh, keen to reduce their stash a bit so i'll show you i'll show you this one first so i don't know if the camera's picking up but this is very a very glittery green fabric and it's got like a golden glitter on and it's um i think it's like a quilting cotton type of a weight so what i was thinking for this because when i saw it and the gold and the glitter and the green my first thought instantly was like wow that is festive so i don't know if you saw the 
festive special for the sewing bee. I think it was the last last year's one, but there was a really fun like tiered Christmas tree dress. I'll see if I can find a picture. So I know this is planning very far in advance, but I was thinking I could use this for making like a festive dress. I don't know if I'll do it like quite as adorned as that because I think I would like to be able to wash it, but I could always put in like little loops so I could hang baubles on or something. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to think about it, what I'm going to do. Cause I'm also kind of tempted to do some like something with big puffy sleeves cause this has got a lot of structure. But yeah, let me know your ideas for like a sort of structured cotton Christmassy dress. And I think I've got about three meters here. So yeah, that'll be fun. Um, you know, it's gonna be costumey, but it's Christmas. I feel like Christmas is, if you can't get away with it at Christmas, when can you? So that's gonna go in my stash for a bit. Um, I need to decide whether I'm gonna put it in a bag because the glitter does want to shed a bit. Um, so it might make the rest of my stash glittery. Um, so yeah, that is the first one. The next one is this really nice viscose, I think it's just a, a viscose lawn or a viscose chalet, if you can see the print. It's kind of like a floral, um, but I also quite like how the little kind of goldeny, orangey, yellow and the white looks like tiny fried eggs. I feel like that's just a thing for me to think about when I'm wearing this dress. And I was thinking this could be really good to make a Helen's Closet Orchard dress for the Sew Frugal Challenge, which is happening next month. So in, in March, it might may well be March already by the time you watch this, but that is a challenge hosted by Sam and Ruan. I'm sure you'll hear a lot about it if you're watching vlogs on YouTube, but basically you just have to pick a fabric from your stash and so a free pattern. So because I've got this prior to March, I feel like it's allowed and because I got it from a swaps table, it was like completely free to me as well. So I think it's like gonna be a mega free make and I think that could be quite cute. Uh, I've had that pattern for a while, um, the Helen's Closet March, and I think it could be just really nice for the summer. Um, might have to wear it with a top underneath for now, but yeah, I thought that could be good. And then I picked up this one, which Mel actually brought. I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to show you because it's got quite a large scale border print on it. So it's got a, it's kind of like a sort of Russian folklore vibes. So you can see this sort of Rasputin dance here. And yeah, it's quite cute. So my, it's quite a, it is a jersey for everyone who's trying to convince me to love jersey. So I thought I would I would get it for you guys. There, there's a lot here, about three meters. And I really like the colors in it. It's a heavy-ish jersey. I think it is just a sort of cotton jersey, but it's not, not really a drapey jersey. And originally I was thinking I could make like a boxy tee for myself with this. But then I was thinking maybe I could make like a sort of tunicky dress for my mum with this because my mum is really really into buying clothes from Joe Browns and I feel like this print has kind of got like slightly Joe Browns-ish vibes like the colours are cute it's sort of a bit folksy um it's got the, it has got the border print on both ends so then it's like upside down on one of the ends but my mum's not very tall, so I might be able to just cut out, you know, without the other border. Um, so what I was thinking for this is to use the Sew Over It Audrey top, which is a pattern that I've had for ages. I think I got it when there was some deal on from Sew, Sew Over It, and it's got like um, a cute sort of neck band and a little tie, um, but I thought I could just sort of extend that, like widen it into a sort of A-line-ish skirt, extend that, make it as long as the fabric will allow. And that could be quite a cute like Mother's Day gift for my mum if I get round to actually sewing it in time. Um, but that is one of the good things about sewing with jersey. It can be a bit quicker than doing, doing wovens because you can just sew it on your overlocker so you don't have to sew every seam twice. But yeah, let me know if you think that would be like a cute idea. I think I might just do it so just the border print is along the bottom of the dress and then everything else is in the sort of background which is like a black with these little turquoise flowers on so yeah that's my idea for that let's see if I get around to that 
And then another challenge that's happening next month is the So Yellow Friendo Challenge, which is run by Jess, who's So What If I So. And I'm sure, again, I think there's a, a vlog tour about this as well. Um, so you'll hear loads and loads about it coming up. But um, this challenge is really good because it's not only a sewing challenge, it also raises awareness and funding for endometriosis, which affects one in 10 women. So I'm going to the party. I've already got my tickets to the party at So Be Sunshine. So I'm really excited to, to go to that and let me know if you're coming as well. Um, but I bought... Well, I was given this fabric for Christmas, but I did choose it. Um, and I got it with So Yellow for Endo in mind as sort of my justification for buying it, I guess. Um, so what I was thinking with this, originally I was thinking the By Hand London Anna dress, you know, floor length, really fancy. But I don't know how much wear I'll get out of that. And I do really love this fabric. It's got my signature cobalt blue, which I'm obsessed with, as well as the yellow for the challenge. So now I'm wondering about whether to make the hazel dress by Veronica Tucker, which has loads and loads of gathers. And I think because this print is kind of abstract, it will be good on the gathers. It's not like I'm breaking up a big bold print or anything like that so yeah let me know what you think of that plan again I don't know if I will have time to make that before the party if I don't I think I'll wear my uh my sort of retro floral peony dress that I uh, talked about a few videos ago and um, because that's got some kind of orangey yellow colors in but yeah it would be really lovely to wear this and wear it to the stitch show as well like so it's the party is on the same day as the saturday of the stitch show so i'm gonna have my eye out for anyone who's wearing yellow to see if maybe they're gonna be at the party later so yeah that's basically it that's my little sewing catch up uh hopefully you found that interesting to see a few fabrics that hopefully i may sew up uh, i would really like to join in with the sewing challenges next month i think especially when you know the people that are hosting them it's um really good to be able to like support them and join in plus both the challenges have like tons and tons of prizes like i'm not even joking like I feel like you're just missing out on on free prizes if you don't join in with these challenges um but yeah i'm not i've got a lot on coming up so we'll see how much i get around to doing just just send me your positive vibes for getting lots of sewing done uh, but yeah, thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed and do let me know if you're going to be at the Stitch Festival or the So Yellow for Endo party because I'd love to say hi to you there and I will be in the catwalk on the Thursday in my peony dresses uh, which hopefully will be finished by then and also I'll be delivering a talk about Stash Hub on the Sunday of the Stitch show so yeah do come along if you're there on the Sunday. I'm still working on the presentation, but hopefully I'll get it all sorted in time to encourage everyone to organise their stash. But yeah, thanks for watching and it's been lovely to have you here. Bye!